uh, wondering how we've drawn that um, three all um, after a much better performance than Saturday um, with the ball um, creating a lot more chances but we're, we're leaving Rigtown with, with one point um, first ten minutes we, we, did, we took a bit of time to get started and we gifted him a soft goal from a free kick where we switched off and the lads played a quick free kick and put it in and, and a good finish and then we, we sort of dominated the rest of the second half and went 2-1 up and we good finishes by Wits uh, and uh, Smudger after good play and composure by Ringy to set up Smudger and pressure their keeper. So you think 2-1 we can manage the game and, and see this out for a good away win. And second half for, for 30 minutes we played some excellent football, we created a number of chances and uh, Jack Moore gets the third and it should be game over. Um, we then let, attract a little bit of pressure by being a little bit deeper. It is a good Good bit of move by them, a great cross and header, but we could have done better at stopping the cross and stopping the ball out there. Um, and it's 3 2, and you still think, right, we'll go ahead. And then we just drop deep and deep and deep and gave them a couple of free kicks. And again, they've got a free header from a free kick, which is very uncharacteristic for us and unlike us as a team. And we, we've conceded three goals, all, all soft goals, all preventable goals. Um, and it was a tale of when you come away from home we've got to learn quickly because we've got three league games left away from home you've got to be ruthless in both penalty boxes we've got to create when we create those chances we've got to take them get better um, goal to shot ratio which we didn't have tonight and then you've just got to be ruthless at the, defensively and that's not just the back four that's everybody you've got to do your job defensively got to be disciplined whether that be stopping a cross whether that be make, stopping them taking a quick free kick whether that be marking tight on a, on a cross whether that be doubling up on a, a and wide areas but we've just got to do that better so I'm, I'm, I'm studying extremely gutted to have only taken one point um, especially after being 3-1 up we can't feel sorry for ourselves, we've got to get some momentum into our play. Yes, we, we had four players missing, but the lads here are, are good enough to, to get three points. We've got to get some momentum because our, our next three away games in the league are all tough. Uh, and we've got the semi-final in the cup and we've got to be better than that to win that and then we've got to take some, some winning habits and momentum into the uh, playoff semi, whether that's home or away. Um, we've got to be... Uh, better than we were if you take away the first 10 minutes in the last 15 you'd say an excellent performance from great football we work rate the commitment the way we defended but you can't give soft goals away you've got to do it for 90 minutes so yeah we're disappointed um, there's, there's some very good performances and for uh, 65 minutes of the game we dominated, we were the best team, we played some really good football, we played the Pennington Church way, but we're sat here um, three all and only taking a point. It's not a loss, um, we'll have uh, definitely three of those four players back for Saturday, so we've got strength in numbers, and um, we've got to make sure that we, we go to Shirebrook and we get a win, um, and put a bit of pressure on Grimsley to drop points against Woodsborough or Shirebrook in their last two games. Thank you for those who made the midweek long journey. Um, it's a difficult one to come, but we appreciate everyone coming and uh, we, we thank them for that. Uh, and hopefully they'll make the journey on Saturday and we can we can get them three points um, for making that journey. Cheers, Dave. Thank you. Thank you very much.